cool off some folks. At least we're not dealing with the tropics. Tro a hurricane barrel with winds of 155 miles an hour, unfortunately, does look like it is going to take a path directly toward Jamaica. It will be as a weakening system, but still as a major Category 3 hurricane. Weakening can, uh, still as it nears the Caymans and as it eventually enters the Gulf. Again, this is not looking to be a threat for Louisiana. And even if some of this would try to get toward us, it would just be some tropical rain. And at that point, we'd probably hope for some of that tropical rain. This is the official forecast with the Euro data just to show you the rainfall. This is a fairly small storm, so this is not very extensive in its impacts. Now, obviously the winds and waves far more impactful than the rainfall, but this looks to be more of a weakening rain event. Now it will still pack some strong winds of near 70 miles an hour once into the Gulf, but really nothing more than just rain as it moves towards South Texas. And again, for us, we're not really worrying about anything. The reason why it has started to and will continue to weaken dry air, but watch the motion in the upper atmosphere. This is wind shear. It is already starting to encounter that wind shear and the wind shear is going to plague the storm for its duration right into the Gulf of Mexico. So even once in the Gulf, while surface water temperatures are plenty warm, it takes more than just the sea surface temperatures. You need to look at the upper atmosphere and we're going to have some very strong wind shear throughout the course of the storm right into to Mexico or maybe southern Texas.